Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I kind of do a beachy, wavy hairstyle that it's good for spring and summer. Kind of just effortless, even though it takes some time to do it. So I'm going to hop right in. So we're just going to first brush through our hair. I washed my hair last night, I think. So we're just going to brush. This is what my hair looks like naturally. It's like ugly, wavy. Like, it's super wavy in the back, but kind of straight in the front, so it's, like, deceiving, because I look in the mirror, and I'm like, oh, my hair's straight, and then I turn around, and I'm like, freak, what the heck, it's all curly and naughty. I'm going in with my Argan Oil. Um, I got this at Walgreens. This is what it looks like. So this is my Argan Oil that I use. Apply that to the ends of your hair as a heat protectant, and it's a shine treatment as well, and it's just good for your hair. So I apply that, and it smells good. So I apply that to the ends of my hair, especially when I'm going to be applying heat. The next one I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be parting my hair. So I'm just going to part it, just kind of run through the sides and part it like that, like half up, half down. And then we have the bottoms, the bottom part of our hair. We're just going to brush through it again to make sure there's no knots. My hair is fine, so like I get knots like really, really easily. So then we're going to go through with our curling iron or if you have a curling wand, that's good too. I have one, but I still like to use this one. And it's already plugged in, so that's what I'm gonna use. So this one is one inch. And we're just gonna take sections and curl away from our head and go all around the barrel, like that. We're just gonna hold it for probably about 10 seconds, depending on how thick that piece is. And then I just kind of scrunch it with my hand and hold it. And it'll look like that. Now you kind of want to leave it like this. You don't want really want to fuss with it. Just kind of leave it until we're completely done with this section over here. Ignore the color of my hair right now. I bleached it and it's kind of brassy still. So I'm and I applied a toner. So I'm still trying to get it back to my normal blonde because it was dark underneath so it's a process and I'm waiting to dye it again so it's a little bit more brassy right now so I'm just doing that again I'm going around the barrel and holding it for close to 10 seconds and then we're just going to let it drop and scrunch it And let it go like that so this is what I'm gonna continue to do all through this side just go around the barrel and hold it sometimes I touch it with my finger just to make sure it's hot okay. I feel like my hair curls a lot better when I do this method because when I use a normal curling iron like this one and say I just use like the normal clamp on it for some reason I feel like my curls don't stay as long as when I do it like this so I like to do it this way sometimes when I want my curls to stay a little bit longer because I have fine hair and fine hair is so dense even though it's like it looks really thin it's thin, but it has a lot of hair, if that makes sense. So when you curl your hair and you have fine hair, it's more likely to fall out because you have so much hair and it's so dense that it weighs down your hair and it makes it the curls fall out. So now I'm just going in with a couple of strands for the bottom pieces and you just kind of want to take them like that thick and curl around. And for the bottom pieces, those are going to be the pieces that you don't have to curl as much because it's the bottom of your hair and it's going to fall down naturally anyways. It's going to be the longest part of your hair. So I usually don't curl the bottom pieces that much because um, I want my hair to be long and I don't wear extensions. So I don't curl these strands as much as I would the other ones. And just kind of go through there and scrunch it up a little bit but you don't want to touch it too much all right now we're gonna go through this side and we're just gonna do the exact same thing all 
Alright, so the bottom half is done. Then we're going to go through the top half. Alright, so for the top sections of your hair, you want to part it however you normally would part it. Let's see, what do I want to do? Do I want to do a middle part? What do you guys think? Do I do a middle part? So I'm just going to kind of tease some of these sections back here. Just kind of brush them out, just lightly teasing. For those of you who don't know how to tease, you just grab a strand of hair and then back comb. So just brush down. I don't want like a big, voluminous, ginormous hair, but I want it to have some volume. Alright, so I'm going to start with this section over here first. And we're going to do exactly what we did on the bottom, but on the top we're just going to use smaller sections. So I want to do sections probably about that big. And the good thing about this hairstyle or this look is that it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, little hairs can fall out and, you know, it's, it's fine. It's like an effortless type of look. So you just want to keep going backwards around the barrel and then holding it for probably about 10 seconds. But you just want to do smaller strands of hair. something like that and you don't want to touch the pieces just leave them alone and let them cool down before you mess with them Another thing that's really, really important about this look is you want to make sure you get all of your hair. Like, you don't want, like, super big chunks of straight hair, like, in the back. You want to make sure that you do get those hairs in the back. If you need to use a mirror or something, you can use that and then just kind of turn around and look at yourself in the mirror and then have a mirror behind you so that you can see, um the strands that you miss because it's gonna be weird if you miss like big strands like in the back right here all right and then we're just gonna spray okay now leave it alone and let's work on this side so I'm just gonna be doing the same exact thing that I did to this side so I'm just gonna kind of speed through it because you guys know the drill So now we're going to go through and spray, kind of crunch up a little bit. After we're done with our hair, we're going to let it cool for a couple minutes and then we're going to go through and kind of mess it up. Alright guys, so I've let my hair cool down so now we're just going to go through and mess it up a little bit, kind of pull pieces apart, run our fingers through it. And just kind of pull through your hair a little bit. Run your fingers through it. And it gives us this really nice, messy, but curly, fun look. Alright guys, so that is the end of this tutorial today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you guys have any requests or comments, leave them down below. So I'll be sure to get back to you guys. And it's always nice to see what you guys have to say. So I think that's it. I have a barbecue to go to today for my cousin's birthday. So I'm going to get ready and walk my dog. And then I'm going to get going. So thank you guys for getting ready with me today. And I will talk to you guys soon.